multiplying fractions with algebra. So just as a quick recap, let's have a go at two questions. First question is 1 over 3 multiplied by 1 over 5. And all we do with multiplying fractions is we multiply the numerators. So 1 times by 1 is 1. And then we multiply the denominators. 3 times by 5 is 15. Another example, 2 over 4 multiplied by 3 over 6. This would give us 2 times by 3 is 6, and 4 times by 6 is 24. This can then be simplified again. So 6 and 24 both have a common factor of 6. That can be 1 over 4. So now let's have a go at multiplying fractions with algebra. So as you can see, the question says simplify the following as far as possible. Well, in order for us to do that, we first need to work out the question. Let's start off with the first one. Again, the same rule applies. So 7 times by 2 would be 14. And then 8v times by 5v will be 40v squared. Now, this can be simplified once more to 7 over 20v squared and that would be our final answer if we look at b 3u 3u times by 7u is 21u squared over 45 and that can be simplified further to 7u squared over 15. Now if you look at c example c uh, multiply the numerators we get 45h uh, multiply the denominators, we get 40h. Now, the numerator and denominators can be divided by the same thing. So, in this case, we can divide both by h, which would cancel this off. And then 45 and 40 can both be divided to get 9 over 8. Now, this can also be written as 1 and 1 eighth. Here are some practice questions. Pause the video, have a go at the questions, and press play again once you are ready for the answers. So for 1D, you should have got 21N over 28N, which then simplifies to 3 over 4. For E, you should have got 8X squared over 27. And for F, you should have got 35 over 9R squared. Now, these are the second set of worked examples, and as you can see, they are a lot more trickier than the first ones. So you have to do a different thing when it comes to working these ones out. And that is to factorize where possible. So let's have a look at the numerators only to start off with. 6k cannot be factorized, so that stays the same. 9k plus 3 can be factorized, and the common factor of 9 and 3 is 3. So 3 goes outside the brackets, and then inside the brackets we need to multiply 3 by something to get 9k, and that would be 3k. So 3 times by 3k gives us 9k. 3 times by what gives us 3? Well, that's going to be a positive 1, since we've got a positive and 3 there. So, let's look at what we can factorize on the denominators. We can't factorize 7k, so that would stay the same, but we can factorize this one here. And that would be a common factor of 21 and 7 is 7. 7 times by something is 21k, so that would be 3k. And 7 times by something gives us positive 7 is plus 1. Realize the benefit of factorize. Now you'll realize the benefit of factorizing because we have 3k plus 1 as a denominator here and 3k plus 1 as a numerator up here. Now watch what happens next. We only multiply what's outside the bracket and we leave this as it is. So 6k times by 3 is 18k. And we bring this there as well because we can, if we wanted to, expand the brackets, but we're not going to. And then here 7 times by 7k is 49k. And then also 3k 
plus 1. Now what this is actually saying is that this multiplied by this multiplied by this gives us 18k 3k plus 1. This times by this times by this gives us 49k 3k plus 1. Now what you can see on the numerator and the denominator can be cancelled out. So we can divide both numerator and denominator by 3k plus 1 which would mean this is gone and we can also divide them both by k which would mean this is also gone leaving our final answer as 18 over 49. Let's have a look at b. So we can't do anything to 3. Let's write that down. Multiplied by, we can do something here. So 12b minus 8. Common factor of 12 and 8 is 4. So I'm going to put 4 outside the brackets. And 4 times by what is 12b? Well, that's going to be 3b. 4 times by negative 2 is going to give negative 8. So let's just check that. 4 times by 3b is 12b. 4 times by negative 2 is negative 8. Good. Okay. Can't do anything with the 7, so I'm just going to write that there. I can factorize this one here. Common factor of 10 and 15 is 5. And in most cases, it will be the same as the first thing that you factorize. But let's check it just to be on the safe side. So 5 times by something gives us 15b. That's 3b. 5 times by something is minus 10. And that's going to be minus 2. So let's now multiply these two together. So 3 times by 4 is 12. And then we've got our 3b minus 2. And then here we've got 35. 3b minus 2. Now if you divide both numerator and denominator by 3b minus 2, these two get cancelled out and we get a final answer of 12 over 35. So here, are the, so here are some practice questions. Use exactly the same method as I did for the previous two examples. Pause the video, have a go and then press play again when you are ready to see the answers. So what you should have got for 2c is 2w plus 6 factorizes to 2w plus 3 in brackets. And then obviously we can't do anything with the 7 or the 5w and we focus on this. What's common to 9 and 27? We have 9 and then in brackets w plus 3. So as you can see you've got the same thing in brackets as the numerator and the denominator. Do your multiplication. So 2 times by 7 is 14. W plus 3 goes there. 5w multiplied by 9 is 45w and then the brackets w plus 3. Then you can simplify that by cancelling out w plus 3 at the top and the bottom and you are left with 14 over 45w. For d, you would factorise 8z minus 4 and you would factorise 6z minus 3. Do the multiplication and then you'll see that you've got 2z minus 1 as the numerator, you've got 2z minus 1 in the numerator and the denominator, so cancel those off and you get final and you get final answer of 8z over 27. Same would go for e, your brackets would have j minus 1, multiply them together, and your final answer should be 25 over 42j. And in the last example, 7p plus 14 factorizes to 7, brackets p plus 2, 7p plus 14 again as the denominator, the same thing has been factorized in exactly the same way. And then multiply and then divide and your final answer should be 1 over 4. I hope this video has been helpful. If you have got any questions, do let me know in the comments below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you once again for watching and I will catch you in the next one.